Building a traditional bot with the Azure Bot Framework requires setting up an Azure tenant, inputting data into Lewis to build an, an natural language model. You got to deploy an instance of the Azure Bot service, code the bot in Python or C Sharp with the Bot Framework SDK. Then you've got to create your own dashboards and connect it to your APIs. And all of this while you're constantly updating the bot code whenever your website information changes. With PVA and GPT, we're in a whole new world. I'm going to create a live bot in this demo in just minutes. I'll start by going to PowerVirtualAgents.com and then just sign up for a trial account. I'll create a new preview bot that I'm going to point to the Microsoft Store website, allowing it to use the corpus of this website to generate responses using GPT technology without the need to code anything into my bot. Here you'll notice there's nothing to be provisioned, downloaded, or even configured. We will now go and look at the topics. Notice that on the right, there are no custom topics and only out-of-the-box experiences enabled. I can now immediately ask questions to the Microsoft Store, and PVA will use GPT to chat over the entire corpus of the Microsoft Store website. Notice how I am getting a succinct response with a reference link to allow the user and bot builders to know where I got the response from. You will also see that there is a lot of breadth in what the bot can answer. Behind the scenes, the bot is using information on your website, combining them and summarizing them into a coherent response, not just returning search results. As you can see here in my question about the difference between a Surface Laptop 5 and a Surface Pro 9, it has combined multiple pieces of information on the site to get a summarized response. Can you imagine having to create dialogues individually for each of these topics? With PVA, you can quickly and easily make a change to the corpus of knowledge that you want to boost the conversation from, allowing you to be in full control of your bots generated responses. You can see that you even have control over the content moderation level that lets you select how aggressive you filter out generated responses for your bot. To demonstrate that control, I will ask it a question that Microsoft Store doesn't know, such as, how tall is the Empire State Building? You'll see that the response I get back is that it doesn't know the answer to that. It's key to understand that it's just important to know when you don't know the answer as it is to know the answers. We have talked about how PVA keeps you in control of your bot experience. And to show you this concept, I'm going to ask one last question about helping my business identify its needs. You see that it replied with the response saying that you can book an appointment to help with my company's specific tech needs and provide some links. Let's click the first link and let's look at what the Microsoft Store does in this instance. You'll see that the Microsoft Store has a way for you to book a consultation. You'll notice that they want you to fill out a form. As a bot author, in this case, I may not want to make the user jump to a form in a web browser. This is where PVA makes it really easy to build author dialogues with its graphical authoring experience, but with our new co-pilot for PVA, it's even easier. Copilot is a new authoring assistant built on top of GPT technology that allows a user to just describe their needs and Copilot will just go and build it for them. In this case, I want to build a topic to request a business needs assessment from the Microsoft Store, so I just describe it. I simply say that I want a, to book an appointment. I'm collecting email information, things like that. I'm also giving a couple of things that I would like you to select as potential options. I hit the Create button, and in just seconds, I'm able to quickly and easily generate a brand new topic in PVA that will give an experience that I want for my users versus just redirecting you to my website. Let's look at the results. Notice how we've got everything built per my natural language request. You'll even see the phone number is the right entity type you'll see that we have list that we were created and everything. But Copilot doesn't just do things on creation. You can continue to use natural language to iterate on your bot. 
Let's say that if the user selected phone number as the communication method, that I want to ask a follow-up question such as, what is the time of day that you would like to receive a call? If we scroll down, you're going to see where I've got the conditional logic. If phone is selected, that now I ask a follow-up question, what time of day would you like to do this? Copilot can even target select nodes in the topic as well. I'm going to select just one question node. Notice that you can see one node is selected. One of the most common things that people want to do with a bot to make it more human-like is to add message variations. This makes the bot not say the question the same way every time. So let's add three message variations. You can now see that it created three message variations with copy saying this in different ways. We can also change the tone of how the bot speaks by asking Copilot to make this more professional. Now just imagine the impact on your developers to not need to get a copywriter involved to improve your bot's tone and make it more human with message variations. I feel like we have a pretty good experience here, so let's go try it out. You can see that now the bot, when asked the exact same question as before, will now follow our authored path, keeping the bot author in full control of the conversational agent. You can see that it followed all the logic that we had authored. This is awesome, and I love the progress I have made in just minutes, but I want to share it with my friends or embed it in my site. Channels allow you to select the different places that you would like to connect your bot with your users. I can choose from any of these out-of-the-box channels, such as Teams, Facebook Messenger, or my own website. Let's publish it in just a few clicks to a website. Because PVA is a SaaS, there's no months of deployments and infrastructure. You can share the link to my friends and my colleagues to try it out right now. And as you can see, you've got a fully functional bot in your demo website. PBA also provides analytics right out of the box. I can easily see how the bot is performing, how many sessions are handled, and many other useful stats. Think about the implications here. An HR department could point PBA to their internal HR site and instantly publish a bot for employees to answer questions over Teams. Your local DMV could, without any specialized IT training, in minutes point the bot at their website and have it up and running answering questions and expand it slowly over time with manually built topics. But don't take my word for it. Go to pva.com. It's free to try and anyone can sign up. Build a bot. Try it out on your own local DMV website or your favorite company's website. See how robust it is in answering questions out of the box for you.